Hi everyone and welcome to Selmond. My name is Sarah and today I'll be making this adorable solo jack-o'-lantern from just two Dollar Tree items. He turned out so cute. If you don't want to cut out the face, stick around until the end and I'll show you how wonderfully it glows through the pumpkin itself. If you like what you see here, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button below. If you know anyone that would like this video or my channel, please share this link because every view and every subscriber helps enable me to keep creating videos for you. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I am Salmond underscore says. You can see what I'm up to on my channel as well as a bit of my personal life in our home. If you'd like to join my Facebook group, it is Selmond. I would love to see all your crafts and hear all the great things you have to say about each other's projects. I hope to see you there soon. Today we'll be making a solar jack-o'-lantern for your front flower beds and for that we'll be using one of these Dollar Tree carvable styrofoam pumpkins as well as one of our Dollar Tree solar lights that um, we picked up earlier in the year. I don't know if you can still pick these up at Dollar Tree. I know down south solar lights are something they get used more year-round than up north where I'm at. Um, but I love these. I've used these in so many crafts and I don't see myself stopping at any time in the future. So the first thing we're going to do is pull out this little styrofoam um, pumpkin stem and it comes out. It's just held in. It's with a little bit of glue and a toothpick. So we went ahead and pulled that out. All right, and then we're just going to go ahead and pop this out as well. And you can absolutely cut that if you want. I just pulled it through. We're going to be painting the pumpkin anyway. All right, and the next thing that I'm going to do is just lay this over the top of the pumpkin. And we'll go ahead and use this as the top because it's just a little bit cleaner. So I'm just going to lay this right over the top. And then I'm just going to take a pen in this case I'm just using a Sharpie and I'm just going to trace around my the outside of the top of the solar light. Right there we go. Now I'm not worried about getting the Sharpie on the outside of the light. That'll come off with a little bit of pretty much any cleaning solution. I tend to use here at my craft table a lot um, hand sanitizer because the alcohol in it cleans up a lot of issues. Alright and the next thing I'm going to do is just cut this out. Now today I'll be using my hot knife to do the cutting. You can use any knife you want um, just you know be careful with it. This knife has the added bonus of not only being sharp but being hot. But it cuts cleanly through styrofoam. Look at that. It's like it's cutting through butter. I absolutely love this thing and I'll be using this in a couple more of these styrofoam crafts just because it is so easy. And if you're wondering about this, um, you can pretty much pick up any wood burning kit and it will have the um, knife head in it. So they're easy to get to, they're easy to find and they're not very expensive. Um, you can even pick them up at um, any of the big box hardware stores. So there we go. That's cut out. Look how nice and clean that cut is. That's amazing. All right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is repeat the same on the bottom here. And I'm just going to go ahead and 
push that in a little bit and I don't know if you can see it just marks where that's going to go through again using my my hot knife just cut right through this okay There we go, and we have exactly the faces we need to go ahead and slip our solar light through. Bring it on up to the top. Okay. And there we go. And I could have cut that top a little bit smaller, put that in a little bit tighter, but I'm not overly worried about that. Um, we're going to have room for water if it rains to go through the top and then through the bottom. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just going to draw a jack-o'-lantern face on here. And I just want it to be a happy jack-o'-lantern. And now that the holes are cut, this is what I have. And you can see just how nice and neat that hot knife cuts. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a face onto our pumpkin. And I want it to be a nice friendly face. So we're going to do some big eyes. And we're going to make him kind of buck tooth. So we're going to give him a couple teeth here. Just a couple. He's going to have a crooked smile. And again, I'm going to take the hot knife and I'm going to start cutting through just a little to the inside of where my pencil lines are. And you want to keep it moving because it will melt in an odd way and then if you got to go back in and recut it push it towards the center area as you can see like right here where it kind of popped out a little bit All right, now I'm gonna work at popping these out and then I'll go in with the hot knife and just smooth out the inside of the cuts if they need it. Okay, they're looking pretty good right now, actually. This one may need a little something, but pretty good all in all. Let's just go in real quick. There, just those couple pieces. As you can see, we have a really clean cut there, except for this one little area where I accidentally hit right on the outside edge. And with the heat that this knife puts off it doesn't take long to melt through. Let me get that turned off and then we'll come back in and we'll paint this. Here's our jack-o'-lantern. I have two coats of the coral paint on him and he is almost dry. I wanted to see what he looked like with the solar light in him and he looked okay, but I really wasn't happy with the stark white showing out through. And I'll include a picture so you can see how that looks. If you like it, um, you're ready to move on to the next step. But I decided I didn't like that white shining through. It was just too bright. It was too stark. And I wanted to have a softer glow. So what I decided to do is take some of my 
chalk paint and maize and I'm going to paint the inside of them. And I'm just going to use one coat um, because it's not really going to be seen but it will definitely soften that color in there. All right, now here I am. I just have it painted on the inside. Like I said, just one coat. Um, it's all I'm going to do. You're not going to get great coverage on the inside. I did manage to get it painted without dripping any of the yellow paint on the outside of the pumpkin, so that's a plus. So I'm going to let this set and just dry really well, and then we're going to move on to the next step. All right, guys, here he is, and you can see he's got the yellow behind him now. And I think I'm going to like that a lot better than just that stark white shining out um, with the LED reflecting off of it. The last thing I am going to do to the styrofoam part of the pumpkin is I am going to coat it with, of course, my dishwasher safe Mod Podge. You guys know I absolutely love this stuff. It helps things hold up outside unbelievably well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a quick coat and let it dry and then we'll be ready to place the LED light in our pumpkin. So here's our jack-o'-lantern outside and all lit up for the evening. I absolutely love the way he came out and it looks just adorable out here. There's his little face. I am so glad that I painted him yellow on the inside. He really lights up and glows that way. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button as well as share it with friends who may also enjoy it. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button and when the notification bell pops up, be sure you hit that as well so you never miss a video. And as always, have a great day and stay crafty.